Welcome to the April 3rd edition of the LIU Post Pioneer News with your host, Nick Tangora. From everything sports, arts, and entertainment, we've got you covered. A prom for everyone. The Rainbow Alliance will host its first ever Rainbow Formal with the LGBT organizations at Hofstra University and Molloy College on Saturday, April 6th from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. A shuttle bus will transport students to and from the event at Molloy College, free of charge. The bus will leave from Hillwood Commons at 5 p.m. The Rainbow Formal is a prom-like event where students can have fun and be themselves while enjoying a DJ and food. The goal of the event is to provide an inclusive space where students don't have to worry about being judged for who they are. Nicholas Frank, a sophomore game design major and vice president of the Rainbow Alliance explained, one of our original reasons why we thought about something like this is because some of our members and a lot of other people said they had a bit of discomfort when they went to their proms at their high schools and being a part of the LGBT community. Sometimes they wouldn't even allow same-sex couples, so for this, we are really trying to say bring whoever you like. Being yourself isn't the only thing that is encouraged. Students are encouraged to dress as they like as well. Nicole Ludwig, a sophomore psychology major and president of the Rainbow Alliance, detailed, semi-formal attire is encouraged, but we want people to dress how they want to express themselves. So if someone shows up in a cowboy costume, no one's going to stop them. A $1 minimum entry fee is required, but students are welcome to give more. All proceeds will go to the Safe Center Long Island, a nonprofit organization that provides services to victims of abuse. This will be the first time this event is being held, but if it goes well, the Rainbow Alliance officers hope to host it again and possibly to hold more events in conjunction with other schools. Students who wish to attend the Rainbow Formal can email nicholas.frank at my.liu.edu or nicole.ludwig at my.liu.edu. Stress from the end of the year crunch and need a break from studying? There are plenty of options for students to have budget-friendly fun on the weekends in an awesome list put together by the Pioneer Zone, Samantha Saman. The National Geographic Encounter, Ocean Odyssey in Times Square is a multi-sensory experience where visitors interact with screens, projections, and physical objects. The exhibition simulates the experience of visiting an aquarium with screens resembling large tanks full of underwater life. The exhibits tell the story of the world's oceans and give facts on how to preserve them. Student admission is $20 with a valid student ID. General admission is $40. A more local getaway is Sands Point's Preserve Conservancy in Sands Point, New York. The historical landmark Hempstead House expresses the grandeur of 20th century New England. The 216-acre park offers wilderness hikes and guided nature walks through six marked trails on the property. Non-member admission is $20. For those with an interest in visual arts, the Nassau County Museum of Art in Roslyn Harbor, New York is currently hosting an exhibition called That 80s Show. Visitors can take a trip to the past. The shows feature over 100 works by prominent artists from the 80s, including Cindy Sherman, Robert Longo, Jenny Holzer, and many others. There's also a Hall of Fame with music and sports memorabilia. The museum has other tours and events available. Student admission with valid student ID is $4. General admission is $12. The Showcase Cinema Deluxe Broadway is located in the Broadway Mall in Hicksville, New York. With a wide selection of showtimes for the latest films, the movie theater is a popular spot for local moviegoers. A ticket for general seating is $14. Now over to the Tilla Center. Singer-songwriter Kelsey Hunter from Northern New Jersey lights up the Tilla Center March 21st. The former LIU Post student graced the stage as an opening act for the American rock band Foreigner. She said it was surreal to be honest with you. I can't wrap my head around it. It's always been a dream of mine. I've always loved rock and roll. All this while comparing her experience on stage to the video game Guitar Hero. Hunter isn't a stranger to the Post campus after completing the first two years of her audio design degree at Post before transferring to Montclair University and graduating in 2016. Music has always been a passion of Hunter since she was young, where in middle school she was the star of an all-girls band, The Rhetorical Questions. She explained, I was always a little bit more serious than the other girls. I knew how hard it was at that age to all be on the same page. That's when I started writing on my own. But The Rhetorical Questions, it was a fun time. For Hunter, music was a form of release, and although the time and effort put into this has been very challenging, she's incredibly thankful. She continues, at the time when she began her career, I was very shy and a private person, so I started writing songs about myself, and then it just blossomed from there. Hunter often turned to music when times got tough, using it as her main outlet, although it wasn't always an easy thing to do. She explained, when you start writing, you're a little shy about it. Giving somebody your work is so vulnerable. Hunter detailed, I've learned throughout the years that the more you share and the more vulnerable you are, the better you become at your craft. As for the future, Hunter plans on growing her fan base and creating more music. At the end of May, Hunter is heading to Dreamland Studios, an old reconstructed church, to spend time working on her latest single, Let Me Burn. In the next couple of months, we can expect a full album from Hunter. For more information on this story and all the stories you've heard so far, check out LIUPostPioneer.com and pick up your copy of The Pioneer today. 
This week's student of the week is Vanessa Gardner, a junior photography major and psychology minor who's working on interesting projects this semester. One of them includes a series of photographs called Women of Color in Color, which she hopes will encourage women of color to feel more vibrant about themselves. Gardner explained, this series I add to most often is this project, a project I hope will highlight the confidence and vibrance inside every woman of color. Gardner does her best to attempt to stay true to her original interest in photography. She does this by photographing nature. Gardner hopes to work on freelance work until she figures out what she would like to do with her skills, saying, I am leaning towards travel photography. Gardner is currently taking darkroom and photo lighting courses in the photo program of the art department. These courses have helped her develop her new skills. When Gardner isn't at post, she takes her photography skills with her on her travels. She details, I took a trip up by Bear Mountain to run around in the snow taking photos. I've had a lot of fun driving around here and discovering new places to eat, hike, and shoot photos. Garner also runs a slow-growing business named VMG Photo. She started in December 2013, her freshman year of high school. Her Instagram account is at VMG Photo underscore. She has photographed kids' parties, proms, school programs, camp photos, headshots, graduation shoots, and baby showers. When Garner isn't behind the camera, she likes to go bowling and horseback riding. However, Garner is also an RA in Queens Hall. This is her third semester as an RA on campus. Gardner started in King's Hall last spring semester and loves to spend time with her residents. She explained, I enjoy my job as an RA. I actually really like having the freshman buildings. Now over to the field for our Athlete of the Week, freshman lacrosse goalkeeper Haley Dunchnowski, a public relations major and communications minor, is playing her first year on the women's lacrosse team. She had an impressive debut against Merrimack on Saturday, February 23rd, making 12 saves and has started all of the team's games this season. As a new pioneer, Dutchnowski's favorite part of playing in gold and green is the atmosphere while playing with her team, saying it's especially during games when the crowd will come and support you. Dutchnowski, who grew up in Miller Place on Long Island, started to play both lacrosse and soccer in second grade. She explained, I stopped playing soccer probably around third or fourth grade and started playing field hockey. However, lacrosse has always been a big part of Dutchnowski's life because her dad played and her aunt played. Her father played lacrosse in college and had a huge influence on her game, explaining, My dad was always my coach growing up. The women's lacrosse team has won 8 out of their 10 games this season, and Dutch Nowski is aiming for a championship title, explaining my goal coming into the season was to win a national championship. She also explained how excited she is that Megan McNamara is still going to be the head coach despite the Post and Brooklyn teams merging. She said our team is still going to be a team, we're just getting new faces, which will be nice. It'll be a challenge for us honestly, but we'll be playing teams we've never seen before in a higher division. After college, Dutch Nowski has no plans on abandoning sports, explaining, I definitely would love to keep sports in my life after college. Now, if she doesn't play herself, she definitely sees herself on the coaching side, adding, anything to just keep it in my life. That's it for this week's Pioneer News Highlights with your host, Nick Tangora. I'll see you next week with all LIU Post news, sports, features, and of course, arts and entertainment.